Last week on Legally Kidnapped. Good evening. Our top story this week. This coming Tuesday, the U.S. Supreme Court will hear arguments over the powers of the child protective industry to drag a kid out of a classroom and interrogate them without a parent's knowledge or consent. This after a girl from Oregon was removed from her classroom by social workers, interrogated for hours, and the little girl ultimately falsely accused her father of sexual abuse because the social worker wouldn't take anything else for an answer. Due to failures within the system, California implements a program to help foster kids graduate high school. And a California mother is pissed because the school officials had her six-year-old son locked up in a psych ward against her wishes because he drew a violent picture and said he wished he was dead because he was suffering from separation anxiety due to his father's deployment to Iraq. In Connecticut, the new commissioner thinks that she can get the state's child protective industry out from under federal oversight within a year. CPS in Washington, D.C. tries to justify its illegal decision to force a homeless mother out of town or snatch her kids into foster care. In the state of Georgia, over medicates its foster children. Also in Georgia, a kid is killed when a child protective worker who is in hot pursuit of a family crashes into the mother's car. In Maine this week, Governor Paul LePage wants to overturn a ban on the chemical additive BPA, which is harmful to children, saying that a worst case scenario is that it could cause women to grow beards. In the same governor cuts a program that investigates abuse in foster homes, group homes, and daycares. The Democrats are upset with Massachusetts Senator Scott Brown's decision to reveal his childhood abuse calling it a political stunt, and the system sucks are upset with Scott Brown's decision not to name his abuser, claiming that leaving the perv on the streets puts other children at risk of harm. The child protective industry in New Hampshire is in hot water after failing to protect this little guy, and there's one less baby stealer on the street after a social worker from Ohio gets beaten by a 15-year-old foster kid and dies, and the child protective industry kept the worker's death a secret from the other workers until five days after the attack. After the suicide of his foster a daughter, a foster father from Pennsylvania, complains about bullying problems at her school. The state of Texas is not looking into family placements prior to throwing kids into foster care and adopting them out. And in Illinois, lesbian mothers are afraid to report domestic violence committed by their partners out of fear that they will lose custody of their kids. A 13-year-old who was orphaned after a tsunami in Sri Lanka is found working in an automotive shop. In Honduras, kids can call the police on their parents who smoke in the house now. A teenager in India has been granted permission to get a sex change operation. And a San Diego man who runs an orphanage in Tijuana, Mexico is under arrest for child abuse. Due to the fact that they suck to work for, Australia is having a hard time keeping baby stealers on the job. Kids in the Aussie foster care system are being drugged with Ritalin at unusually high rates. And the Australian government takes away the power to investigate child protective services from the ombudsman and gives it to the children's commissioner. In Canada, the prosecutors in a murder trial refuse to call child protective services to the stand because they want to secure a conviction, and a foster father who was charged with rape returns to court. In England this week, after the parents complained about the school's treatment of their autistic son, school officials retaliate by making false report to the child protective industry. The Court of Appeals in London gives a kid back to the parents after a low court judge signed a removal order based on a 15-minute hearing, and the British Education Secretary is worried about a drop in adoptions and calls for more white people to adopt black kids. In entertainment news this week, Oprah Winfrey exploits a tortured girl who was forced to live in a dog cage, and teen mom star Kaylin Laurie avoids a custody battle with her kid's dad after he is busted for smoking pot in his car. In this week's Foster Crimes Report, Claude Falk, the director of a California mental hospital, gets 248 years in prison for molesting his adopted son. A prominent Beverly Hills psychiatrist who has helped decide hundreds of child custody disputes was thrown off a case and is being investigated regarding two more cases after posting naughty pictures of himself on Facebook. A CPS investigator from Arizona gets busted for growing pot in her house. A foster mother from Michigan pleads no contest to murdering her five-year-old in her care. In North Carolina, a child protective worker gets busted for falsifying records after a 15-month-old girl under his watch died. In the state of Florida becomes the foster crimes capital of the week after the death of an adopted girl sparks a media firestorm. A woman gets arrested for filing a false child abuse report. A former foster father previously convicted of molesting his foster daughter is convicted of downloading child porn, and a Florida deputy is busted for abusing her child. A seven-month-old in Ohio is found dead in a foster home, and the Ohio child protective industry cuts ties with the Foster Parent Association. According to legal experts, a potential lawsuit from a family whose children were wrongfully snatched could net anywhere from three to five million dollars. The 
Police in North Carolina are looking for a missing foster child. Indiana settles a lawsuit over foster care subsidies. And finally, tonight, the Wisconsin couple accused of abusing their three adopted children in Oklahoma were being paid $4,500 a month from the state to care for the kids. For these stories and all the latest dirt on the child protective industry, visit www.legallykidnapped.com. And until next week, this is Baby LK, over and out.